Hello students, welcome to the maths classes. Today we are going to start with class 12 NCRT chapter 2 that is inverse trigonometric functions and we are going to start with exercise 2.1. Now before starting exercise we are going to first discuss about the principal value branches of inverse, some inverse trigonometric functions. Their, your first function is sin inverse x. The domain of sin inverse x is minus 1 to 1, closed interval minus 1 to 1. And the range in which this angle lies is closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Domain of cos inverse x is also minus 1 to 1, closed interval minus 1 to 1. And range is closed interval 0 to pi. The domain of tan inverse x is the whole real line but the range is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Domain of cosec inverse x is the whole real line minus open interval minus 1 to 1. And the range is closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 except 0. Now the domain of sec inverse x is the whole real line except open interval minus 1 to 1 and the range is closed interval 0 to pi except pi by 2. Domain of cot inverse x is the whole real line and the range of cot inverse x is 0 to pi. Now your first question is find the principal values of sin inverse of minus half. Now we know that inverse trigonometric functions will uh, give you an angle. So let x is equals to sin inverse of minus half. Okay. Since it is an invertible function, so sin x is equals to minus half. Okay. And we can write it as sin of x is equals to minus sin of half is pi by 6 sin pi by 6 now your angle is negative sin x is equals to minus sin pi by 6 since the principal value branch principal value branch of sin inverse x is minus closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that means your angle lies between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or either in first quadrant or in fourth quadrant if the angle is positive then it lies in the first quadrant if the angle is negative then it lies in the second quadrant fourth quadrant but your angle is negative so you have to shift your angle in the fourth quadrant so sin x can be written as sin of minus pi by 6 and this will implies that since minus pi by 6 lies between the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so x is equals to minus pi by 6. Now your second question is find the principal value of cos inverse of root 3 by 2. Now to find the uh, this value let us take this angle is equals to x. So x is equals to cos inverse of root 3 by 2. Now cos inverse is an invertible function. So we can write it as cos 6 is equals to root 3 by 2. And root 3 by 2 is equivalent to cos of pi by 6. Now since x lies, x is an angle and since the principal value branch of cos inverse x is closed interval 0 to pi okay so if your angle lie uh, your angle lies between 0 to pi if the angle is positive it lies in the first quadrant if the angle is negative, it lies in the second quadrant. But your angle is positive. So, you can imply that x is equals to pi by 6. Since pi by 6 lies between closed interval 0 to pi. So, we can equate. Now, your question number 3 is find the principal value of cosec inverse 2. 
since it is an angle so let this angle be x let your x is equals to cosec inverse of 2 being an invertible function we can write it as cosec x is equals to 2 okay and this 2 can be written as cosec of pi by 6 okay now we are going to check the principal value branch of cosec inverse x since the principal value branch of cosec inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 except 0 and r pi by 6 lies between open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and it is not equals to 0 so we can directly equate x is equals to pi by 6 now your question number 4 is find the principal value of tan inverse of minus root 3 now let us suppose this angle is equals to x tan inverse of minus root 3 being an invertible function we can write tan x is equals to minus root 3 ok and root 3 can be replaced by tan of pi by 6 pi by 3 ok now we are going to check the principal value branch of tan inverse x and the principal value branch of tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so if your angle is negative open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 will cover first and fourth quadrant if the angle is positive it will be in the first quadrant if the angle is negative it will must be in the fourth quadrant and you need minus tan pi by 3 so you have to take tan is negative in the fourth quadrant so you have angle in fourth quadrant mein shift karna padega and it can be written as tan minus pi by 3 now minus minus pi by 3 lies between open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so we can equate x with minus pi by 3 and this is your answer now question number 5 is find the principal value of cos inverse of minus half. Now to evaluate this angle cos inverse of minus half let x is equals to cos inverse of minus half. So being an invertible function we can write cos x is equals to minus half. And half can be written as cos of pi by 3 okay now we are going to check the principal value branch of cos inverse of minus half now the principal value branch of cos inverse x is closed interval 0 to pi so it covers first and second quarter if the angle is positive then it must lie in the first quadrant and negative angle must lie in the second quadrant and you need negative of cosine so you have to shift your angle in the second quadrant so cos x can be written as minus cos pi by 3 can be written as cos of pi minus pi by 3 now this angle will come to the second quadrant so cos x is equals to cos 2 pi by 3 and since 2 pi by 3 lies between closed interval 0 to pi so we can equate x with 2 pi by 3 and this is your answer. The question number 6 is find the principal value of tan inverse of minus 1. So let us take this angle as x so x is equals to tan inverse of minus 1. In an invertible function we can write tan x is equals to minus 1 and 
Now, one can be replaced by 10 pi by 4. Now, again we are going to check the principal value branch of tan inverse of x. And the principal value branch of tan inverse x is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay. So, if it covers first and fourth quadrant. If the angle is positive, then it must lie in the first quadrant. If the angle is negative, it must lie in the second fourth quadrant. So, you need negative of tangent. So, you have to shift your angle in the fourth quadrant and minus 10 pi by 4 can be written as minus pi by 10 minus pi by 4 and now minus pi by 4 lies between open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so we can equate x with minus pi by 4 and this is your answer now question number 7 is find the principal value of second inverse of 2 by root 3 now let this angle be x second inverse of 2 by root 3 and being an invertible function we can write this as sec x is equals to 2 by root 3 and we know that 2 by 3 is equivalent to sec of pi by 6 ok now check the principal value branch of sec inverse x and that is Second verse ki principal value branch kya hoti hai? Open interval 0 to pi minus pi by 2. Okay. And this means if your angle is positive, it must lie in the first quarter. A negative angle must lie in the fourth quarter. But you need positive set. So you can directly equate x with pi by 6. Because pi by 6 lies between open interval 0 to pi and it is not equals to pi by 2. 